Hey guys, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we stormed the Central Factory and kicked every unique monster's metallic butt. Except for Mordred. We'll come back for him! Don't sweat it. Also, in between episodes, your boy did a collectathon. Finding this sacred panther was so ridiculous. It was behind, like, the face unique monster, Gawain. How do you just keep resetting that area? I could only find one sacred panther. We kind of have a problem if all the panthers were sacred and all over the place. But our reward, would you believe it, is something actually pretty decent. The Machina Driver 3 for Rhine. How long has it been since the Collectopedia's had a good reward? You tell me. And, uh, man. We're actually here. This is kind of nuts. Like, I don't know. And recording this is kind of like a weird thing for me. I really love this next area of the game, but... I'm... In a really good mood today. I kind of don't want to spoil that with, well, what we're about to see, I guess. Moving on. We, well, have to go Agniritha to not only deal with Ego, but we've also been escorting his sister Vinaya back to the capital to hear her out on the truth behind this war. And, well, it'd be kind of silly to just turn back now. So let's head inside the teleporter and head to the Mekon capital. decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops on our side, we don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're more worried about the kid's schedule? Kind of so for you, Thorin. Shut up! Get moving! Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, Assist any wounded bombs. Bring it on! These high ends here may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! That idiot! He'll get his head knocked off at this rate! Ha! Keep it up! Show everyone the power of the Jopon! Go, Jopon, go! Fight like a hero pod, Ricky! It appears we have gained the upper hand. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. They're here. Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. Once the Vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! Ha! Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it! Who has another taste yet? Eat this! Should have stayed at home, lousy junk bots. Hmm, they're doing rather well. I do so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Deadbeat drones, come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you, scum!
you know, I was getting all emo because we've obviously fought for a very long time to reach Agniritha, and it's a really big point in the game. All I could think of was, God dang, Dixon! Foxy Grandpa's tearing up some Ekon! I guess he is a veteran after all, but here we are, everyone. The very top of Makanis. Environmental storytelling at its absolute finest. Not even my favorite area, but you got to admit, the second you arrive here, it's just like, God dang, what the heck happened? Playing this game muted, dude, should be outlawed. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little extreme. Oh no, ruin the scene instantly with a item pickup. Yeah, fairy tale diodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the chances of that? Anyway. So this is the Makonis capital? Yes, Agniritha. The heart of the Machina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. So the Machina built this whole city? Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Look, Shulk! Dino Beast! Dino Beast eat city! A Dino Beast? Here! But how? It is a Telethia! It looks like... it's stone. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. Why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. Well, it's time for Venea to deliver, I guess. You know, this could just be a giant trap, but... Uh, nah, we'll trust her. The Telethia being here, though... Being so absent from the story for so long really took me off. Like, just... Because it's... <laughs> and how long we've been fighting Mechon back to back to back. And you find this organic being just... Kind of... Dead on the floor. It's just a weird vibe, I suppose. But here we are, the data center. Which, yeah, has maybe a couple quests for us. We'll wait for this bit of exposition to get into that, because I am not the biggest fan of the quest, per se. They're nothing really like, you know, Fallen Arm, but they do a good job, I suppose. <laughs> I guess viewers having a good time. It is admittedly a pretty cool place, if not a little bit lonely. Ah, uh, this game. I can't, I can't even talk about it. I can't even talk about it. It's too hard. This place means so much to me, bro. What was it, like eight years ago? Just having my Wii Pro Controller in hand, I was like, what is that? Why is this place so sad? What am I feeling? I don't even know yet. Uh, it looks like the power's up and running. <sighs> Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, follow me. What is that? It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. No way. Whoa, you're right. 
These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora! Hey. They were left behind by the Machina before they abandoned this place so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mekonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mekonis. I created my children on Mekonis and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina. And Mekonis was transformed into a world brimming with life. The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization and built this great city. This city? I can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. Life also flourished on Bionis. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. the Bionis? Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. Are those Telethia? I tried to save the Machina, and confronted the Bionis. And so, I confronted Zanza. Zanza? The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Zanza and I continued to fight. However, it did at last come to an end. Giant. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionis, its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly away.
However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed, and that one day, he would be released. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber. In preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me, what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. Lady Maynath desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But why did it have to be my body? Because you are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> it was all because of our world, because of Bionis that this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us gonna solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel so that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado? Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will to survive no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. Then, if that is your decision, so be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time, but I am prepared for his refusal. Venea. I know Venea said she'll try to persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. But it's inactive. We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Uh, how Fiora know that? Maynath's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe... my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's get searching.
RPG of the decade. I don't care what you say. That. What? Uh, like, my God. Discovery. That f the voice inside of Fiora was more or less the soul of Makanis itself. The reason it chose Fiora as a vessel to get closer to Shulk. And the truth behind the Bionis initiating the attack on the Mechon. This game, dude. If only we had records of history thousands of years ago. So history couldn't repeat itself. I'm just absolutely floored seeing it in HD all again. But our objective is clear. Reach Main of Shrine. Which, uh, yeah. It's kind of blocked off at the moment. Here in Agniratha, there's understandably Mechon all over the place. Egil kind of running the show by himself. I mean, he needs people to guard him after all. But there's also Mechon inside the data center. These all have generic quests for us, and the actual flavor text of these is really good. So I actually want to take the time to like spell them out. And once you complete these quests, these terminals will actually comment, and it's a nice little bit of story detail I feel like we should cover. Some Mechon are out of control and ignoring their orders. They must be neutralized. Well, we can get behind that. You must destroy the dreads. Yeah, there's a handful of these, but the reasons they give for like wanting to take down, you know, the Mechon are actually kind of fun and clever, but I will admit it probably will take a lot of time to actually pick all these up, so I'll try and be brief. Some Mechon are in possession of excess power. Mechon must have equal power. Tell that to Mordred, bro! Victory can only be assured. All individuals follow orders. Unbalanced power is undesirable. Punish the offenders! You know, this this thinking Terminal's never played an RPG before, but yeah, these are for the uh, unique monsters, which, oh yeah, there's, there's a handful of them this time. None as deadly as Mordred, luckily, but... Performing enemy combat strength analysis. Samples from the small telethia that attacked Agnirith are required. Investigate the four specialized telethia. You got it. So that one uh, can be a little tricky. Once you complete it, you have to then pick up another here. So do keep that in mind. These are yet again timed quests. And oh yeah, the shop. Heads up, you can now purchase Machina 2. <laughs> if you did not get it somehow from the central factory hey you can do that but one thing you can totally pick up here that you can't get anywhere else unless you're incredibly lucky are the hell drones oh good lord i hope i didn't butcher that sword drones plus one now on fiora this is something i really want to showcase because my god it's pretty great all things considered i don't see anything else too phenomenal for fiora it's kind of a shame yeah like, she's not going to shop around a lot. Actually, this is a direct upgrade, so we'll get that as well. With her new gear, these are the stats for my Fiora build. I decided, yeah, auto attack, stealth, and aggro down should function pretty well together. It is kind of sad that we did lose a slot from our drones, but trust me, once you see sword drones talent art, you'll be like, okay, Johnny, I get it. Pretty a cool ability. We also decided to add the Machina Driver 3, which has great gems. Holy crud. What a nice pickup to Ryan. So now he's rocking that. I don't think I'll be using Ryan too much here, though, because, well, I kind of want to have a more, I don't know, personal party. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. I uh, <laughs> still hope we'll be all right. I mean, I don't imagine Dumban will be able to hold any aggro, but we'll see. Agniratha must be restored to a state of perfection. Collect repair materials for the damaged structures. Some Mechon are out of control and ignoring their orders. They must be neutralized. Seems like someone needs to work on the goddamn programming. Shoot! With that, we've now acquired all the generic quests for this area, except for one which will be touched up a little bit later. But before we get to the questing, we actually have to head back to Fallen Arm real quick. Not only to turn a quest into Kazat, now that we have the materials from the Central Factory, I'm sure he's gonna build his brand new gun, it's gonna be amazing, and kick tons of mech on booty. By the way, not that I was aligned about protecting the village, but the main thing I wanted to protect is my family. Oh, that's a thought. As my thanks to you, here's my original gun. 
The ones that's too complicated for me to use. But you're skilled enough to know what to do with it. Yeah, well, get plenty of use out of that ether rifle, sir. <laughs> it's definitely better off in your hands. I expect the gun is happier this way as well. I wasn't giving it the best treatment. I also wasn't treating my wife that good either, because I broke the thing. Ah, anyway. I'll hand over the devil cannon. Which sounds very extra, but no. I like how Elise mentions, yeah, like, I'll be honest. Kind of needed this for a selfish reason. I mean, you know, protecting the village is important and all, but eh. But the second you arrive in Agniritha, one of the sneakiest effing quests appears here in, well, Junks. Yes. Hey, man. You were the guy that had the memory discs, is that right? How could that have happened? Those are some of the most important memories. Hey, what's up? Something about memories? I can relate. You think you could hear me out about this one last time? I was going through the memories to retrieve for us, and I realized that some of the most important ones are missing. Those memories can't be restored, but there is a separate backup. I know it's rude of me, ass, but you find the backup, please? We must finish what we started. I, too, am somewhat interested in your people. <laughs> the backup's a single chip, so it's less to find than before. But doing so will be more difficult. Even so, will you do it? Well, we're in the area, so sure, we can collect Memory 903. Shouldn't be too tro much trouble. My gratitude to you all is securely stored within your memory. With my memory. <laughs> Find the memory chip that shows how gratitude I am for you. That that does not make sense. We'll give it our best shot. I uh, definitely missed this one in the past, so I wanted to make mention of it now. Don't worry, the red item orb is pretty easy to find. But back to Agniritha. I'm dying to show off Sword Drones 3. Oh, I'm so pumped. Hopefully we can actually get it. But uh, yeah, as far as actual gameplay in this area goes, it's a lot of mech on. That's about it. I mean, I don't know. They've kind of done every trick they could do, admittedly, with the uh, types of attacks Mechon can possess. They're kind of limited in that regard, so it's just sort of how it goes, but hey, there's a lot of unique monsters, and oh god, we're kind of underleveled. I should usually, this thing should be a black nameplate. Oh well, despite that, let's give it our best shot and show off sword drones. This might take a while to build up talent gauge. Oh yeah, here we go. Sword, dro oh, it's like the worst camera angle ever. What the? My inner director is going furious, but yes, hits up to 10 times. You know how chain attacks work. You know how multi attacks work. Yeah, if you were just got a lot stronger, just from one little purchase, if we could actually get a specific sword drones, which well, there's only one of those in the game, which is, well, Sword Drones 10. Spoilers, sorry, not sorry. You would see the full might of Fiora and her ability to just rip through bosses. It's, yeah, kind of crazy. She also doesn't have her arts fully leveled up. Most of her arts at the moment, except for, well, Air Fang, are rank like four. So she has so much room to grow, and the more we fight with her, you're going to see. But, uh, yeah, that is, wait, did I get something? Did I get it? Did I get it? Yo, wait, that was a Stardy drone. That should be, aw, oh, man, cannon drones, too. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, I don't know why the frick anybody would even use the uh, gun drones when you got, like, first off, cannon drones, and now sword drones. Sword drones won. You might think, eh, it's not as good as this, but, but like, tr it, it really comes down to situation. And seeing as this is an ether art and sword drones is physical, which chances are you're going to have some strength up on her, I think it's the obvious play. But, uh, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> Hate to cut things short here, but truth be told, we had a lot of cutscenes, a lot of story focus in this episode, and, well, I honestly still need to train up and kind of just plan things out, so I hope you'll join me for the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles, where we hopefully reach Egil and stop his plans once and for all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you then. Bye.